I'm not really worried about our mission. We, we, I think we're well prepared to take care of the things that are the most likely. If there's something you know, dreadfully wrong, uh, appendicitis or uh, that kind of a thing, then we can come back to Earth if we need to. Well, we are a, a very junior crew. There's a total of three space flights between us. And not ever having been to space before, because I'm one of the people that hasn't been, uh, I think we'll have to wait to see how we get uh, on orbit, how it all works out. There have been other people who've flown uh, as the commander on their second flight. In my case, uh, I see it as God's blessing. I, I couldn't be happier with the, the people that I've got on my crew. We all have had a tremendous time, and so they have made it very easy for me. And uh, for that, I owe them a tremendous debt of gratitude as well. A lot of life is about uh, doing what you think is the right thing to do and what uh, inspires you or motivates you at the time. And that's just kind of been my, my motto, I guess, in life, not necessarily to live for 30 years from now, but to, to live for now and uh, follow life's path as it comes along. This is one of a few research flights that we've had in a long time. And I think for someone interested in space science like myself, it's really the dream flight. It wasn't uh, something that I've always uh, wanted to do because it wasn't uh, on the agenda for us in Israel. Nobody in Israel could, uh, could ever dream that uh, he would uh, go and fly to space. Gemini is what I remember growing up with, and then certainly Apollo. I thought that that was the coolest job you could ever have, but I couldn't see the path there as a normal kid. But of course, every, uh, I, I believe that every fighter pilot and every pilot and, and, and probably a lot of people are dreaming uh, of going to space. Flying small airplanes, that's the big thing I enjoy. Following rivers, flying pretty terrain, uh, going for long cross countries for a few days. That's probably the best thing I have gotten out of space flight. When I uh, was announced as the one to go, I was happy, <laughs> very happy. Growing up, I think I underestimated myself a little bit, uh, but I'm really glad that I figured out that I was wrong, uh, because I would have limited myself uh, and it would have been entirely unnecessary, as it turns out. When something very rare like this comes along, you really want to jump on it. So to me, this is uh, an excellent opportunity to have a chance to do something that's very unique and very, very important as space research. We do science, we do experiments, but uh, looking at Earth and appreciating the magnificence of it is easily the most um, touching thing that you come back with. All we are doing is, is for the next generation and the next generations to come. I'm sure the view of the Earth out of, uh, of space is very unique. And since we don't uh, see any borders and we see our uh, planet as a planet, as a whole, as a unity, I, I'm sure that uh, we all feel that uh, we shouldn't have any borders and uh, we as human beings share this earth. This is the only place right now we have uh, to live in. And we have to keep it clean, to keep it uh, uh, as, as, as good as possible uh, for our own lives.